All right, page 11, number three, we are looking for trig functions between 0 and 360. So we're looking at for angles for trig functions between 0 and 360, okay? Um, generally, you should go to the, each one of these problems and think, how many answers will there be? Okay, typically, how many answers do you have for each trig function between 0 and 360? Two. Two. Now, realize that trig functions, there are four different answers, one in each quadrant, right, for each angle. So you have a reference triangle in each quadrant, but the difference between the angle, the values for each angle, might be different because they could be positive or negative, right? So keep those two things in mind as we go through this. Okay, let's start with A here. Draw a unit circle. Draw a circle. How? Circle drawn. Now what? Where is negative 340? First quadrant. First quadrant. So we start at zero, and we're going to go the negative direction, 340. We'll end up in quadrant one. What is that reference triangle angle? Got it. You got it. So that makes the angle 20? That makes this angle in the reference triangle 20. So automatically that means that cosine of negative 340 equals cosine of what? Positive. Positive 20. Answer number one. So, whoa. So, uh, wait, so the answer is 20? One of the answers is 20, yes. Because if you start at 0 and you go negative 340, you end up there at 20, right? And the question is cosine of what equals cosine negative 340? Well, these are the same exact angle, same exact quadrant and everything, okay? And the only thing is we want to find the solutions between 0 and 360, and 20 is between 0 and 360, so that works. So that's your first answer. Okay, now we can think of each of the reference triangles that we've been working with. This isn't going to be pretty. Each of those reference triangles. Emily. So since one between the other one and the answer is 20, okay. then we're going to find the other one by picking one of those. But could yes. it be the negative number of whatever we find? No, no it's the negative. That... If that were the right quadrant, yeah. then it could work, but so I think I know the, the negative wouldn't be between 0 and 360. But isn't it negative? Isn't it 340 is positive? No, it's no. in the bottom right quadrant, right? Yeah, it's quadrant 340. Four. Yeah, quadrant yeah. 4. Why is it in quadrant 4? Adjacent is positive. Because adjacent is positive. Oh, so you're saying the other place where cosine is positive is yeah. quadrant 4? Yeah. yeah. So if I look at all students take calculus, it's also that quadrant and that quadrant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so your other answer would be 340. So there are but can two it be negative 20? It could be negative 20, but not it's not between 0 and 360. Oh, that's yes. Okay, so wait. Yes. To find to 340, why would you have... Now on B, a little bit more difficult here because we're dealing with a cosine equaling a sine. Okay, this takes one of our identities that we had about when you take a sine of an angle, sine of 20, what does that equal automatically with the cosine? Let's say I had a right triangle that had a sine of 20. That would be opposite over hypotenuse, right? So if I have sine of 20 is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine on the same triangle will be at that angle right there, right? Because cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Make sense? So it'd be 70. So if you have cosine 20, sorry, sine 20, it'll equal cosine 70 right away. So 
Now when you draw the reference triangles, you're going to use 70. Why would that? Amanda. Can I guess what that other one would be? Can you guess what the other one would be? Yes, please. Um, would it be like 13 minus, or what is that, 270? Oh. So you're saying here, that's my 70. That's cosine 70. Where, what other quadrant would it be in? Quadrant four, perfect, 70. This, it's 290. Yes, so the answers would be 70 and 290. Because we're in quadrant four, and 360 minus 70 on the reference triangle is 290. Let's do C. Draw a circle. Check. That's a bad circle. Start at negative 10. Okay, negative 10 will give me a reference triangle of down here, right? Of 10. For the cosine. But we want to jump to sine now. So it'll be 80. So I'm going to go up. I'm in that quadrant. So now I got to go 80. Now you have to be a little bit careful here. Okay, so I'm going to start right here. I'm going to keep this for a second. That's everybody okay with that? That's negative 10 degrees. I thought you were going to make it 80. I was, but just hold on. That's negative 10, correct? Yes. Okay. That's cosine of negative 10. Is cosine of negative 10 positive or negative? All students take calculus. Cosine of negative 10 is positive. So that means I want to use the 80 degree angle. I agree. But now we're with sine. So we want sine of something, of something with 80 to be positive. So I would just go right here. That would be 80 because everything's positive there. Right? So 80 is an answer. What's the other quadrant where sine is positive? The second one. Second quadrant? Add 90? Add 80 again. Add 80? Add 10. Add 20? I'm going to throw numbers out there now. 180 minus 80 be 100. Thank you. That's the... Say that again. Can you say that again, please? When I'm not talking to Clarice, I learn something.